You already know the Certified Aviation Manager Program is one of NBAA's most powerful tools when it comes to professional development. But what about CAM as a powerful workforce retention tool? From the National Business Aviation Association, this is Flight Plan. I'm Pete Combs with your trusted source for business aviation news. The Certified Aviation Manager Program is one of the most rigorous professional development programs you'll ever find. Now I'm talking with Jamie Stember, who chairs the CAM Governing Board, and with Tyler Austin, who's NBAA's Senior Manager of Certification. Jamie, let's spend just a moment going over exactly what the CAM program is all about. So the CAM program is the Certified Aviation Manager Professional Certification that is nationally accredited by the NCCA. And we have developed a program for emerging leaders and business aviation professionals to excel. We want to identify the future managers. And for those who already are already in those roles, we want them to get the certification, inspire others to do the same. CAM is all about being better than who you were yesterday, having a voice, garnering respect, and learning that C-suite vernacular and contributing to the high-level discussions in the flight department. It's really structured around the five domains that the test is written on, leadership, human resources, aviation operations, maintenance and technical, and business management. This is not a weekend certification. I'd like to talk about how difficult this is. Not just anybody qualifies for this walking in the door. This is a commitment to the profession. We have a minimum requirement to apply to be a CAM. The application will validate an individual's potential, but passing the exam actually unleashes that potential. When you take that CAM certification exam, you don't just specialize in one area. If you're a pilot, we're not talking about specializing in uh, aircraft operations. If you are an administrator, you're not talking about specializing in HR, right? Yeah, that's a great point. On the CAM Governing Board, we feel we are obligated to obviously grow and invest in those who work in this industry. And taking the CAM exam and unleashing that potential is the old adage of Maslow's triangle, right? Trying to get to that self-actualization, the top of the triangle. We feel that the leaders in this industry want those around them to be the next rock stars. There are going to be those who stay uh, in your operation. There's going to be those who move on and run their own operations one day. It will perpetuate your company's brand because people are looking at you as a leader going, that person allowed that person to grow. That's where I want to work. Now let's bring in Tyler Austin to this conversation. Tyler, let me ask you, when we're talking about professional development, that's of course the way people move forward in their careers. But when it comes to CAM, how do you use this certification process and the continuing education that follows as a means of retaining people? All of our business aviation uh, members are trying to find ways to grow their employees professionally uh, within their department. And the certification program is a way that gives benefit to both the, the business, the operator, and the person themselves. Uh, the survey that we conducted last year, one of the most important pieces for retaining talent was professional development. And that is exactly what the certification provides. Uh, as I mentioned, the individual, the business, and the operator. It gives them a chance to continue growing personally, and it, it promotes lifelong learning. So having that ability to continue their professional development through certification gives them a reason to want to stay. You can use CAM as a retention tool because retention is all about empowerment. And we believe that folks want to be empowered. They want to grow. It's only one leg of the stool that goes along with compensation and culture. But personal growth in the workplace is tantamount to any employee success. Now, Tyler, it seems to me that some people might have the misconception that you have to be a manager to take the CAM 
certification course and to go through the process. But that's not at all the case, is it? It is not. It is a way for emerging leaders in the industry uh, to gain recognition uh, for the the knowledge that they have. Uh, it's a way to grow uh, within your department. It's a way to look at succession planning. Many of our members are, are looking at the certification as a way to plan for the future. So it is for current and future leaders in business aviation. Why is it important to have this personal investment on the part of your employees? Why is that such a, a, a valuable part of retention? One of the character traits that we see in most cams is grit. And what that means is these people have passion and perseverance. For example, pilots achieve the ATP rating, not because they have to, but because they want to. That is the highest piloting level to benchmark yourself against the field. Mechanics, they get their IA dispatchers get their dispatch license, not because they have to, but because they want to. Our administrators that have taken the CAM exam, nine times out of 10, they'll have an MBA. Again, this is these people want to climb the professional ladder and they find ways to do it. If you allow someone, enable someone to become a CAM, to study this and better themselves, uh, you're cementing a relationship, uh, and it's not necessarily just a work relationship. You're exactly right. We say that that retention is about empowering people, and each person within inside the organization is their own brand. And how I look at it myself is my brand is a promise to my employer. When they want something, when they need something, they know where they need to go. That's what I want for everybody else. If you can build somebody's personal brand and make them feel important, empowered, they're going to stick around. I promise. Tyler, what are some of the things that an organization can do to encourage this development as a retention tool? And I'm thinking about you're basically making an investment of time and resources in that person. That is exactly correct. Making it available as an option for, for your employees, getting them on a track. You know, it, it isn't, as you mentioned, an easy task. It is a, it's a time uh, sensitive task. You know, you have to have buy-in from not only yourself, but your management and your company. So to be able to put yourself on a track and say, I'm going to do these things to help myself grow towards the goal of achieving the certification, you can uh, make a timeline and, and a, a plan together as a team to reach that goal. You know, it is it is additional training. There are scholarships available, but I would say putting a plan together is is the is the biggest resource in, in having the time and, and dedication. I wonder if this also has sort of an SMS angle to it. As you're developing this person or these people as CAMs, you're also developing a safer organization. Within the operations domain, safety is obviously ingrained in everything that we do, and these are best practices. They're industry best practices. So, you know, being able to look at these and hold everyone in your department up to these standards, uh, we're just going to make our entire team and industry a safer, a safer place to operate. And the truth is, if you're going to be brutal about it, these employees are, are going to climb that ladder with you or without you. That's a great point. And you're exactly right. If you don't surround yourself with the smartest people, your organization is doomed from the word go. It's best to keep them motivated, happy, empowered, and the organization, by and large, is going to be a better place, a more fabulous culture, and it becomes a perfect circle. Tyler, I know that you do a lot of this, uh, especially with some of the younger professionals in our business. It seems to me that if you give a young person in particular a sense of not just duty, but responsibility and ownership, that actually makes a difference in that person's willingness to step forward and do more. CAM is an industry recognition that you meet a certain set of standards, uh, best practices within the industry. So for younger professionals that have been in the industry for several years, um, it is something of, of pride to be able to have those letters next to your name and say that you met the standards uh, that the CAM exam holds up to the highest 
uh, highest ability. Um, so, you know, for the younger professionals that are able to, to attain this certification, um, it is a great sense of pride and it allows them to, uh, to have a seat at the table when speaking to many of these established professionals in the industry at events, um, networking, um, and it, uh, it, it's, a, it's a great thing for the young professionals in this industry. I want to ask you a question, sort of a devil's advocate question. Someone out there might think, well, wait a minute. If I empower my employee through the CAM program or you know, through another program, if I, if I allow that person to advance, am I not taking a chance on losing that person? To the contrary, I would argue that when you invest in your people, you are giving them every opportunity to rise above their potential. And when that potential energy turns into kinetic energy and you turn them loose into your organization, they can do great things. It's not about the title. It's about having the best people around you. If you create an environment that is so fulfilling to them, they will not leave. They will have a hard time leaving. Now, there are going to be your climbers who want to go run their flight departments, and that's okay. This is not a 100% foolproof, but what I would say is do not deter people from trying to achieve the certification out of fear of losing them. So the idea is that by empowering the people in your business aviation organization to better themselves, they'll feel like you as a manager have invested in them. They'll be better for it, and so will your organization. For more information on the CAM program, go to the website, nbaa.org. At the top of the page, you'll see a blue menu bar, and in the middle of that bar, you'll find the words Professional Development. Click on that tab, and the first thing you'll see is the Certified Aviation Manager menu. Now, that page has all kinds of important information, including the CAM Candidate Information Handbook. You'll find a list of frequently asked questions as well, including questions about the minimum requirements a candidate needs to begin the program. Now, remember, this is not an easy certification. It's not intended to be. But as you've just heard from both CAM Governing Board Chairman Jamie Stember and NBAA Senior Manager of Certification Tyler Austin, it's more than worth the effort for the candidate, and for your business aviation organization. And that's the latest from the National Business Aviation Association. Remember, you can subscribe to all Flight Plan podcasts at Apple's iTunes website, your favorite podcast site, or download them from nbaa.org. I'm Pete Combs. Thanks for listening to Flight Plan.